Good day, friends. Paul here. It's always an exciting day when a breaking news story affords us the opportunity to probe the annals of human exploration and discovery. And today, there's this breaking story of asteroid Psyche 16. Now, I've done a rendering here to scale. This is an actual image of Psyche 16. You can see here on the left. It's about 140 mile diameter. It's one of the top 10 largest asteroids in the asteroid belt, accounting for just under 1% of total asteroidage in the asteroid belt. This thing is solid metal, like gold. Solid gold, platinum, on the order potentially of 10 thousand quadrillion dollars which would totally derail our uh, financial systems fiat currency the gold standard there's already speculation that uh, Bitcoin and other virtual currency if this asteroid and space mining comes to the fore I mean a billion is big enough but then a trillion you're racking on another three sets of zeros Quadrillion is another three set of zeros beyond a trillion, folks. 10,000 quadrillion dollars in gold. There's enough gold to make everybody on Earth a billionaire. Well, you know that's not going to happen. And here you can see an artist's rendering of a spaceship that would be orbiting a potential asteroid, solar-powered. Apparently, we're seven years out as far as a voyage goes. Projected for October 2023, arriving at the asteroid in 2030, so seven-year voyage um, with an Earth gravity assist spacecraft maneuver in 2024 and a Mars flyby in 2025. Now, if you've read about some of the Apollo missions, you can check out how a free return trajectory works to essentially fling out like a boomerang into space. Assumedly to also do the same once it reaches Mars, potentially in, in 2024. And then you can see Psyche is just beyond the Mars orbit um, in between Mars and Jupiter. But I mean, the likes right here of Larry Page of Google and film director James Cameron, and I'm, I imagine Elon Musk is gonna be on this game with his SpaceX. So the three options for mining are to bring the asteroidal material back to Earth for use. That seems very time intensive and not very uh, efficient. Number two, uh, process it on site, bring back only processed material. Gee, I don't know, and perhaps produce a propellant for the return trip, meaning that there might be gases or other fuel forms on the planet to use to power the said vehicle back to Earth. But number three, guys, really seems the most plausible theory to me, and that's to transport the asteroid to a safe orbit around the, redirect the asteroid essentially to the moon, the Earth, or the International Space Station. This can hypothetically allow for most materials to be used and not wasted. It, it almost makes a sense just to have the asteroid work for us, as it were, and guide it to a sustainable orbit or set up a, um, a laboratory like in this artist rendering back here. Please post your comments below. I'm very curious to hear what you guys have to say about this subject and any nuances as far as private sector investment and or government investment as well as any perhaps uh, supernatural or other sort of um, extraterrestrial thoughts you might have on the, this subject. Have a great day, friends.